I'm Kay Savitz, and I am going to play the Atari entries in the uh, 2020 Basic 10 Liners contest. Um, basically, this is an annual contest uh, where people try to write the best program they can in 10 lines of Basic. It's available for many different platforms, uh, a lot of Commodore entries, uh, MSX, Com uh, uh, VIC-20, uh, Atari, um, 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 Coco. Anyway, but I'm an Atari guy, and I'm going to play the Atari entries. There's three categories-ish. Uh, I'm going to start with the winners of the the of the 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 category that has the, the longest lines allowed, the 256 character uh, category. Uh, the winner there is uh, 300, and I'm sorry, is uh, repeat after Simona, uh, which is number 13 here. And we're going to start this up. So this is the winner across the category. Hello, I'm Simona. Get ready. Choose difficulty. Start regular, select easy, option hard. All right, I'll just start regular. Repeat after me. So I'm gonna use the joystick to try to copy her movements. Three, two, one, go. So she did that arm, so I press right to do that arm, then I go uh, right down right down right right down right and then she twisted honestly I don't know how to do that I guess okay it's right right down right 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 oh I did it left down left down down so this was done in 256 logical characters oh fun okay so basically we've got Simon uh, Simon sort of game I need more practice it says uh, with uh, fun little graphics we try to do do exercise all right we'll do uh, option hard just for fun before I move on read after me in three two one Oh, <laughs> it's her right, not my right, you know? Let's try it one more time, which is, it kind of makes the game tricky because she does her, something on her right side, I need to choose left. I mean, I need to choose, <laughs> it's on my left, her right. You know what I mean? What? I don't know. Okay, fun, I like it. Uh, the next winner in this category, let's see, uh, in the Extreme 256 category, is Wizard of WASD. Where is that? It's number five. This was the uh, second, took the second prize in this 256 category. Wizard of WASD. I think it's uh, some sort of RPG. All right, so uh, it looks like kind of an Ultima looking thing done in graphics too. How do I, uh, I guess I don't use the joystick. I actually do use WASD. Every time I take a step, my T, my time goes down. I'm walking around. Oop, I went into a tunnel, neat. And there's a snake, what do I do with the snake? I don't know how to like shoot or fight or anything. Joystick doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I'm just gonna walk into it. I can't, I can't walk into it. Interesting, okay, interesting. Uh, let's see if I can find some instructions here. Read more. This one has a nice little website. You know, Wizard of WASD rhymes with paused, so wazed, I guess. is a fantasy adventure game with overhead graphics. It is written in the fast basic language and runs on Atari 8-bit computers or emulators with 48K plus of RAM. Uh, goals, find the magical dagger of Ven and use it to destroy the evil blue wizard. You must accomplish this before the time runs out. If you do not, he will complete his spell and raise legions of, of undead. Uh, so use WASD to move. The only controls you need. Items are picked up automatically. Obstacles and enemies are defeated by running into them, provided you have the required inventory item. If you don't have what you need, nothing bad will happen, so feel free to experiment. Quit the game, hit the escape key, and there's some gameplay tips and some backstory and a very, really very nice webpage. Uh, and he shows off, the author shows off all the code. Ten lines of code, huh? All right. 
All right, now that I've read the instructions, I guess I can't get past that snake because I don't have whatever item I need to kill snakes. So I'm going to walk around through the forest. I teleported? I don't know. That was never much for RPGs, but this is actually kind of fun. It's about my speed. <laughs> Not a lot of character. You don't have to create a character. You don't have to fight Lord British or whatever you do. I don't know. You just walk around looking for a sword or a knife or something. Uh, so it doesn't look like I can go in the water. can't go into the mountains. What can I do? Have I been here before? Yeah, it teleports me over there. What's that? Ooh, I'm in another thing. So I touch the O's and they, I th I th they really do seem to be teleport O's. So the green one takes me to the green one. There's fire. Can I touch the fire? I said nothing bad will happen. And the fire is blocking the amulet or whatever that is. So I touch the teleporters and it takes me to the corresponding color teleporter. But honestly, I don't know what to do now. Oh, I have a in my inventory a, a thing, a, whatever that is. I have one. Do I need it? What is it? It doesn't help me get past the fire. It looks like a gate. I feel like carrying a gate around. I've carried weirder stuff around in Infocom games, but... All right, so I have this thing now I'm carrying. <laughs> Wonder if I can help me get past the snake. Nope. Gate's not useful against snake. Gate versus snake. All right, well, this is fun. I mean, this is kind of amazing. Oh, is that another, a different cave entrance? Maybe, uh, which one did I go into before? No, I can't get in there. Okay, well, I still don't have much patient, patience for RPGs, but... Uh, this is kind of cool. Nice graphics. Really fast. I mean, just really quick um, moving around. I seem to be, I've got myself stuck in a forest here. Um, now I'm in a different cave. There's a shovel. Can I get to it? See, I was just about to give up, and it was just like, ooh, it sucked me back in with its enticing shovel action. I'm back up again. Neat. All right. It's like a whole like consistent map. There's a spider web in my way. It's clearly a spider web, right? I wonder if it's the same every time you play or if the map's different. But I mean, it's a consistent map. I can get back to places I've been before. All right. Oh, I've got the shovel. Now what do I do? How do I dig? Dig myself out of trouble here. Does the shovel help me get past the spider web? I mean, in real life it would. I would totally just grab a shovel and <laughs> whack a spider web until uh, it was no longer hitting me in the face. All right, I'm going to try the spider web. I don't think it's going to work, but I don't know. I'm also out of, almost out of moves. Nope, shovel's useless against the spider web. All right, you know, I was going to move on, but heck, we've only got 340 moves left. Let's... See what I can do with my shovel and my gate. What's that? And uh, the, the pokey stick? Uh, what is that? I have a diagonal pokey stick. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know. I kind of don't know quite understand where I can go. Can the pokey stick help me get past the spider web? Nope. I wonder if I can <laughs> get back to... I bet a pokey stick would help me against a snake, though, wouldn't it? If I can find my way back there. Hmm. Teleporter? Pew! Now we're back to this mess again. Oh! Something happened. It made a noise and everything. I... Okay. I have the amulet. Yay me! I did a thing! Will that help me in any way? Probably not in 150 moves. 
but okay, this is this is fun. Here's my snake. Ah, I can't get past the snake. Boo! Stupid snake. Hmm. All right, we're almost out of time here. Let's just walk it out until uh. Now we're back to this mess again. <laughs> 39. What's that? Was that there before? I don't know. Okay, well, well done, person who created this. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mit. Oh, I'm dead. Neat. Fun. Pretty cool. Okay, uh, so the next winner in the extreme category... Let's see, number three was Spectrum, Commodore 64. Looks like the next winner uh, in number seven in the Extreme 256 category is called Runner. So I'll find Runner, number 16. Um, what's going on, Runner? Problem? You having a problem? Oh, it worked. I was worried there. Press trig to start. That's the kind of thing you have to do when you're doing these games is you don't have, literally sometimes don't have room to say, to type the word trigger. Okay, I am a, I am a box and I'm collecting coins. Look at me collecting coins. No, I'm not. Yeah, I have, okay, I am. I have, a, my score is going up when I get a coin, uh, but those gray things seem to be bad. Coins good, gray things not so good. So I'm going to optimize to get the most coins I can, I guess. Avoiding the gray thing. Nice, smooth scrolling. I like it. Um, wish there was some sound. But sometimes there's just not room in these games to do things like that. But co yeah, cool graphics. Nice sound. Um, I mean, nice, nice, nice scrolling, no sound. Can I go faster or slower by going left or right? No, it seems like it's a cons consistent speed. Endless runner, endless scroller, money, coin grabber. Right, I mean, this is my last game, and then move on. Ah! Look, the, uh, the gray things you're not supposed to touch are... Oh, I could hit the trigger to go. No, I thought it went faster for a minute. The gray things are a little tricky to see, which I guess is part of the challenge. Uh-oh, there we go. It's not really too hard, it's kind of fun. Runner. It came in seventh place in the category. Not bad. Fun. Okay, so next up, let's see, uh, is a Tunnel, which tied for eighth place. Tunnel. Uh, it says just here it's called Tunnel. There's one called Tunnel Hunt. That must be the same, right? Tunnel Hunt. Press Start. Sure. And they put on a title page. That is that's using some space to do a title title page. Alright, I am in a tunnel. I can steer vaguely left and right. I'm shooting at spaceships. Pew pew pew. My shield is going down. This is like the most basic version of Star Raiders ever. Come on, little dude. Come here. Get my get my crosshairs. So I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to work it so that I'm always headed down the, the middle of the tunnel. Can I hit the edge of the tunnel if I'm not careful? I don't know. But I'm vaguely sorting, trying to trying to steer so that the tunnel is so I'm headed down the tunnel. Right. It has zero hits. 
Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's getting close. Come here, guy. How could I miss it? It was so close. Why is it getting closer and farther away? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, not moving on to the next game until I hit this at least once. Come on! Oh, whew. that was exhausting. I need a nap. Holy cow. Alright, I've had enough of that. That was Tunnel. Uh, moving down the list, uh, on number 11 in the 256 character category is called Follow Simona, which I believe is about the same person who did the one we played before, uh, which is called Repeat After Simona. Hello, I'm Simona. Remember me from before, from the other game? Get ready to exercise. Choose difficulty, start regular, select easy. Okay, I'm going to do select easy. Follow me in three, two, one, go. Uh, okay, so this is like, not like Simon. I have to do it immediately in real time, I guess. Oh, I see. I don't have to do anything. I'm just tr tracking up my fails and hits. So unlike Simon, this is more like, I don't know, Dance Dance Revolution or, or Guitar Hero, where you have to do things in real time. Oh, I'm real bad at this. Simona, calm, chill your hooves there. Calm down a little bit. I got one. Um, so yeah, I, I can use my joystick to make my girl move. Did I mention Simona's the one with the blue hair? She's getting faster. There's not a lot of feedback whether I'm getting things right or wrong other than those numbers ticking up. This is... <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> it's like... It feels like that music from... from... Space Invaders. It gets faster and faster. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, Simona. You're, I don't... You're too hard. Um, let's see. So that was number 11 in the, in the category because other platforms are taking up other spaces. Uh, MXS, Commons 4, MSX, 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 MXX. All right. So that's it for the extreme, for the Atari entries in the extreme 256 character category. You know what? This video is creeping up on 20 minutes. I will create a different video for other categories, I believe, because, yeah, just because. Um, yeah, so fun. Uh, so repeat after Sim was technically neat. I think the one I was having most fun playing was Wizard of WASD. Uh, Runner uh, was was adequate and that was fun. Uh, Tunnel, not really my thing. And repeat after Simona was uh, not as good as, I mean, follow Simona was not as good as repeat after Simona. Sorry, Simona. All right, this was fun. I'm Kay Savitz. Uh, you can listen to Antic, the Atari 8-Bit Podcast, uh, and you can maybe I'll do another video where I do uh, the other categories of the 2020 uh, Basic 10-Liner entries.